Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to round numbers in Excel. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, and without further ado, let's jump right into it. So just so everybody is aware, when we round the number, it will actually change the number, so it's not like it won't be displayed the same. For example, 89.5178, if we round to no decimal places, it's only going to show 90 and that will become the new value so it will become 90 so just keep in mind if you're working with a very large data set it might throw off your sums a bit but if that's really within the margin of error I really want to be that concerned with it so we're gonna jump right into it and we're gonna start by first going over to the column right next to the numbers we want to round so we're gonna do equals and then type in round so R O U N D so round and then do a parenthesis and then you want to left click on the first number in the series that you want to begin rounding. So I'm going to select this 89.5178 and so forth. And then you want to type a comma. And now you're going to enter the number of digits you want to round to. So I'm going to say zero, like I don't want any decimals here. And then I'm going to do a closed off parenthesis. And then you want to hit enter. So now you can see it's been rounded. And if you just drag it down, it should do it for all of them because it is formula driven and you see you can't fit them all in here so I'm just going to expand it a little bit and you can see now we have all these extra zeros in here and they're all still formula driven so if you wanted to get rid of all these zeros that are being shown here I'm just going to select the entire column up at the top right clicking on the E left click on format cells go down to currency I'm going to select decimal places to zero and then I'm going to left click on OK and you see there's still formulas here so I'm just going to if you want to get rid of the formulas I'm just going to select the entire E here right click on it left click copy and then I'm going to go back again to the E right click on it and then I'm going to left click on paste the one two three one this is values so we're just pasting over it this is good if you're going to be pasting it somewhere else and it's not going to be tied to some formula because formulas do break so now you do have just regular text here that has been rounded from this original column so I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.